Quickie, quickie. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a bonus episode. Quickie, 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 quickie. We got a quickie in the house. Quickie. Coming round to get a quickie. She's coming round to get a quickie, quickie. Psst, psst. Quickie. <laughs> like that one. Wink, wink. Hey, hey, hey psst, go over here. Psst. Go over here. I got a, I, I got a quickie for you. <laughs> like that. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Happy bonus day episode thing stuff. We thought, you know. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, sometimes it can be a long week when it's winter. We just had the time change around here. and Round here. It got real oh, fucking dark at kidding. night. Well, just at like five thirty in the afternoon, it's getting dark. Round here, we hate daylight savings time. Yeah, it's kind of bunk. I don't really hate hate. No, it's but, it's just weird. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Earth tilts and stuff, right? I like it half the time. You know, when half you when you time. when you gain that extra hour. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, then you're I, like, all right. Yeah, but you got to get up earlier. Yeah, I guess. You That's don't really gain anything. That's bullshit, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's more bullshit time of year. I don't know how many times in November I would, like, show up at work as a hairdresser, and I'd, like, show up, and there'd be nobody there. And I'd be like, <laughs> what the shit? This is before cell phones, you guys. Like, this is way back or before I could afford to have a cell phone. And I'd show up at work, and I'd be like, what the hell? What's wrong with these guys? And nobody would change the big clock at work back or anything. So I'm, like, looking at it and looking at my watch, and I'm like, well, that's what time it is. What the fuck? And I'm like, wonder what happened. Why isn't anybody here? And it's, like, too far to go home. You know, I think I think the one time I did go home because I was so fucking hungover, I just needed to sleep. But Well, that's the crappy thing with cell phones now is you can't really get away with that excuse. You can't be, like... I just sleep in for an hour, and I know that I'll get away with it, because, you know, it's daily oh, savings time. Oh, in time? Yeah. Yeah, you for know, sure. And now it's like, oh, shit, right? Yeah. The phone changes automatically. Your and, phone is yeah. your <laughs> alarm clock and everything most days. That totally screwed me up the other day, because my phone was right, but the, the clock in the car was wrong. Oh. So I would get out, go to do a job or whatever, and then... You're I'd like, look at I'm my an phone. hour early. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, I was just totally screwed up all day on what time it was, and all of a sudden, it was four o'clock, and it was dark, and I'm like, what the hell's happening? And oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I started making soup at three thirty, you guys. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's got to be time. It's four thirty, you know. Start making supper. Make sure we eat at a decent time. And whoopsie. Beat the power outage, just in case. Yeah. You know? it, oh man, we've had some crazy stormy, windy weather. It went from like. No rain at all for like four months or six months or whatever it's been. It's been unseasonably dry. And then all of a sudden we got fucking monsoon season. <laughs> it's, well, we live on the wet, co- <coughs> on the wet coast. So that can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That was crazy. The whole, I don't know, it's pretty been... big dump of snow and it's a lot. Yeah, we got our first snowfall. Different sleety, wet snow out here. Well, and it just sticks to itself. We and got hail first. It was right. little teeny tiny baby hails, right. which were really cute. Yeah. It sort of looked like the the styrofoam stuffing, like when you rip into a teddy bear <laughs> accidentally or your dog tears it open and there's like fucking, or like bean bag. Like if you guys ever had one of those bean bag chairs and they start just leaking. They explode on you. Yeah. Oh, the Ex- birds, except it hurt. The bird's knocking his beak onto the bottom of his, Hi, bud, what's up? Of his water bowl. Yes. Would you, you like, like to be part of the podcast? You would like something, mister? Van Gogh says, Hello. excuse me, Hello, everybody, I am an African <laughs> Grey, and I have my foot just a little bit outside the cage, because I'm like, hey, I'm here too, guys. Hey. So if you hear fart sounds in the background, it could it's, be the bird. It's definitely not me. That's for sure. He, yeah. I would never. Yeah, that's the birdie. The birdie's ringing his bell now, too. Yeah, I would never. I would never think to fart on this you know, oh no, he's got too much respect for you guys that we have here. You yeah, know, we're this, only on our like twentieth date or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go Not slow. that many. Not that I many. I get it. We'll go slow. Anyways, we had like a big dump of snow, which was like pretty exciting because sometimes out here on the coast you don't get snow in the winter. I mean, generally you do now, but there were times when I was a kid where we'd have just a little teeny tiny skiff of snow for like an hour and that was it for the whole winter like we'd have a green yeah, christmas I, which in alberta i moved to alberta and if you don't have snow at, at at christmas they call it a black christmas i'm like what 
But like the the grass is brown out there. Well, you that's know? why it's mainly just dirt everywhere. I guess you know. Yeah, they yeah. call it a black Christmas. I was like, I'm not sure. I want an explanation. <laughs> and you, get the, you get the black snow from all the like diesel smoke parked oh, in the parking lots is that and everything, what it is? And, and just dirt rolling up and everything. Because and, there isn't a fresh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't get that okay. nice fresh. You know. Well, thanks for explaining pile of snow all the time. Explaining and, that. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Making Alberta not seem so Black gross. Snow. It's just the diesel dirt, <laughs> you guys. It's totally, totally okay. It's not a... I always thought it'd be neat to have, thing. like, different colored snow. Like, if we lived in a different world or something, if it was black snow, it'd be you so weird. always or think about that? Blue or red. I always. I, never I, put I salt in your eyes. Never, never put salt in your eyes. It's a kids in the hall reference. <laughs> always, always put salt in your eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Them in the stummies. The other thing I, I thought of a lot of times is uh, if snow was actually warm. You know, like if it was still snow, it totally looked like snow, it felt like snow, but it was warm. So, like, you'd go skiing or snowboarding and you'd hit and just sploosh. It'd be like a bunch of warm well, water all over your face. That'd be awesome. You could just, okay. like, wear more clothes and then it'd probably <clears throat> feel warmer when well, you're yeah, in the that's snow. Sort of, that's kind of the whole. Yeah. Defeats the whole. But what about the freezing? Fantasy Isn't snow made side of it. from freezing? Hey, so, you'd have to, like. Really you know, stomping all over my fantasy dreams here. What if? You know, yeah, my what so, if dreams. So, like, just like a practical person, I'm like, so, like, it would be like a, if your skin was different or something, and it, it read it as a warm thing. Oh, there you go. That's, there you yeah. go. There you I go. I can How wrap my that? head around that. Yeah. Which I think might be, a, didn't we see that on House? Cold was hot and hot was cold or something? Yeah, I think you can get all cross signals there <laughs> or if you've got like hypothermia i think you can get to the point where oh, you're too hot but it's not necessarily that the snow would that's feel what warm. it is you I start taking it's... your clothes off and stuff because you're too hot yeah your body yeah. gets all pins and needles and then you're right. like oh your body's like i'm overheating but actually you're freezing to death yeah that's not never a good sign no no never, don't do that yeah i assume that's where you're going with you know your whole story there of snow and everything yeah, I was just saying it snowed. <laughs> it's been real stormy and and all that, and yeah, it's just pretty exciting to have a have some snow on the ground. Went to go see the horse, and he was like pretty soggy. His jacket comes tomorrow. We got a friend bringing over some hay and his hey. and his jacket. Thanks, Bree. Thanks, Yay. Brooke. Uh, yeah, so Will's got a new jacket coming. And, uh, jackets and jeans, jackets and jeans. Spend all your money on that. <laughs> a snow sketch reference. <laughs> uh, we, we might have to just put like a little SNL sketch, you know, yeah. references every See time we do a, it. Yeah, sunny in Philadelphia Easter eggs. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> find the Green Man reference. Yeah, the the snow stuck around all day. There's still a bit of it. It happened yesterday, so um, we had a friend pop by to bring us some more guppies for our guppy mill. And uh, her guppies are That's just... Gu- guppy, not puppy milk. Yeah, we don't have puppies. No, no. Jason's allergic to those. Yeah. Um, yeah, but she has uh, got, got like a couple boys and a couple girl guppies uh, a year ago or two years ago or whatever, and they keep having sexy time in her tank, so oh. <laughs> she keeps winding up with all these guppies and she has a smaller tank, so... Guppy's gonna do what guppy's gonna do. Yeah, she knows I have a really big tank here, so she's like... Got that big tank energy? I got that big tank energy. BTE. Yep. Anyway, so <laughs> she, yeah, she drops by about once a month with some uh, little, little Petri dish kind of style dish, a little Tupperware of... <laughs> of uh, Baby guppies for us. So, and normally the angelfish or the, we had a, a little shark and they just ate the shit out of them. Um, so we were like, hey, sushi for the fish. You know, sad that the fish die because I kind of hope that they'd live because the guppies are pretty. But uh, yeah, I guess since the shark died, Castiel decided that's our big angelfish named after Castiel from, from Supernatural. Supernatural. <laughs> uh, so I was like, what are angel names? I wanted to look up and see what other acting that guy has done if any yeah he's, he's pretty decent on there anyway yeah i think, I think he's a nice actor. yeah there's that new show the winchesters just a little side supernatural good. side note yeah i mean, i got the first few episodes uh winchester it's all about their parents yeah it's like a prequel john situation. and vicky Jacob or something Jingleheimer <laughs> Smith. <laughs> something something winchester anyway yeah. whatever you were talking about there before i 
interrupted with Supernatural. I was talking about some Castiel. guppies. Oh, right. Yeah, Castiel is, uh, has decided, I guess, not to eat some of these guppies the last time some were dropped off. So there's some, some pretty pretty bright guppies going on in there. They're pretty frilly and fancy and yeah, pretty getting pretty big. I mean, for compared to you couldn't barely see them. They were like sea monkey size oh, before. you just an eyeball. You know. Just a little teeny eyeball <laughs> swimming around in there. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, when she popped by today to drop them off, she was like, oh man, you guys are in the snow belt here on the island, because we definitely had more snow than there is over at their place over oh, at yeah? the lake. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, she was really surprised. Snow belt. Yeah. So, yeah. It's really weird how that works, you know, within like five minute drive on the island, and you have lots of snow here, no snow in the middle, and then lots of snow over there, and we're not like that much higher altitude or anything i don't think yeah i think it kind of came from the southwestern side and, and covered us because some of the people oh, yeah. over at the gorge wound up with snow oh, okay and not close to the, lots of the south end i was wondering if it had something to do with closer to the water you know anything yeah like that, maybe uh, sq town up the way didn't wind up with oh, okay with much snow until like later in the day and yeah, i don't I, think they got much at all i don't know yeah i don't know i guess we'll find out from locals if it's you know okay to say local things i don't know why i'm all hesitant to not but i think if people were smart they could figure it out on their own if they wanted to but yeah or just ask i guess (laughs) yeah where are you go on our facebook page just be like having people hanging out in the driveway like dude we want to hang out we're like wait for wednesday quit stealing my wi-fi we can only hang out in your ears because there's cooties in the world (laughs) it's cootie safe hangouts (laughs) cootie safe Ooh, that does sound fun. That's like, uh, oh, I got nothing. My fucking brain just went right empty there. (laughs) You probably heard my tummy gurgle. Is that what it was? Need more soup, maybe? Or it's like a gurgle as in it's doing its magic and it's percolating its work, doing its thing and, you know, percolating the soup all down. Where it's supposed to go to? Uh, I think Different it's just digesting. Bowls. I just sort of half lounged out on the on the futon here. <laughs> it's, we definitely we definitely do have a well. Half of the podcast studio is pretty comfy. Half of know. it's pretty casual. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm gonna sit in the chair across from you. I'm like, wow, that looks uncomfortable. <laughs> this is a little fold out chair. Hmm. Well, it makes better, you know, a little back and forth. I think. Jib jab. Yeah. A little jib and then jab. When you can like look me right in the yeah. eyes. It's pretty intense. There's a lot of staring at each other. Yikes! Ow. Don't hurt your eyes. <laughs> yeah, so I made some, some soup. Smoke in my eyes. Soup loop to warm us up and had a little bit of soup, and that was pretty lovely. And uh, I got thinking about what is it that, that like, the rainy, cloudy, stormy days, like, what is it that makes me want soup? Is it... The security of knowing you have, like, your food made for you, and it's super, super, super. Soup. See what I did there? Uh, here, I mean, hear what I did there? <laughs> it's, like, uh, convenient and easy. You know it's already ready to go, and you can keep it in the giant pot out in the out in the back porch. And because it's uh, only, like, two degrees outside... Yeah, I think... two degrees Canadian, whatever that is in American. I don't know. <laughs> That's what the C stands for. The... Yeah, American and Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, fucking we're, American. We're, we're, That's are what we the F Fahrenheit? stands for? Are they? <laughs> we love Americans. Don't don't get us wrong. What's that? We love Americans. Don't oh, yeah. get us wrong. I was just saying, I'm trying to come up with an F word for Fahrenheit. You know, because we're, we're C. You know, oh, fabulous. There you go, fabulous, fabulous. Americans. Yeah, it's in Canadian. <laughs> Five. That's what I... The so five Americans that are listening to us? Yeah, actually, there's there's some out there. <laughs> so, you guys, what's your favorite soups? Like, I, I, I oh, know... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. Um, I, I bet it, it's probably just the whole, like, warm liquid in my body kind of thing. That's, that's what like, you like about it? Well, I think that's what people like about oh. a warm soup on a cold day. It's sort of comforting because yeah. it's like a bathtub... Of yeah. warmth, but like in your body, not yeah, like it steams off and it's all sloshy, you know, and yeah, easy to eat. Yeah, and then makes you just sort of, it sort of gives you like a neutral buoyancy in your stomach kind of deal. You know, you just feel that's good. what I'm going for when I'm cold. <laughs> Usually, a neutral buoyancy. I said, Do you have anything with a neutral buoyancy? <laughs> just in the restaurant, they're like, "Fuck you and your 
food restrictions. Go to your gastro pub and ask for. Yeah, we had. Uh, well, I had awesome potato leek, um, potato leek fennel soup at the local hall here. They have a lady in there now. Chule. She made my birthday cake too. It was amazing. She's like hella, hella fabulous cook. And um, so, anyway, she opened up a cafe in in the hall. So, like two days a week, you can go there for like breakfast and lunch, which is awesome because she's freaking deluxe. And uh, so, I had potato leek fennel soup, which I'd never had with fennel before. But I've been eating potato leek soup for a long time. We learned about that, how to make that in foods class back in grade seven. Pota- what potato leek soup? Yes, potato oh, okay. leek soup. We but not made with it. fennel. No, I've never All had right. it with fennel before, and it was nice, nice to have it with fennel. But it was un- unexpected. I mean, it said it right there on the <laughs> on the sandwich board or whatever with the list of food that it said that it came with fennel in it. But it just, you know, brings back these memories of grade seven and our food class, and and I think we made some muffins and stuff too. But that was the one thing that I totally remembered. And, um, cause we made it there. And then when I went home, like potatoes, we generally had potatoes all the time. Cause my grandpa br- grew potatoes when we were growing up, he had a big farm and, um, and leeks were pretty easy to find. So, um, it was, I, I made it pretty regularly and it was kind of my go-to soup that I knew how to make nice. and it was affordable to make. So mom would be like, yeah, go ahead make that Ma. if you want. So. Yay. Yeah, so I made it quite a bit. So it was really nostalgic and comforting and nice to to have the potato leek fennel soup because now it's something that's a little bit new, but it's something that's old too. That you know was nostalgic. You don't have to make it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I like cooking if I've got ingredients to work with. It's awesome. But when you live remote, sometimes it's tricky to yeah, have okay. have specific ingredients. So you kind of learn to work with what you got. I'm not really a soup guy. Well, you know that. But yeah. I, the people out there this, don't know that, I guess. You this know. is tomato macaroni. Well, that's different. If it's, yeah, a tomato macaroni from the White Bull from 30 years ago, yeah, then okay. That was, oh, the, you the got restaurant. a bowl of that somewhere? Did you can some up? <laughs> 30-year-old we, soup. We used to get get it in the giant jars, and, and like those big three-gallon jars like or whatever. The with the big jar? lids. Yeah. I remember when mom... She, I think she worked at the restaurant maybe at the time, or I can't remember, but they ended up having like a whole bunch extra, and I, maybe you buy it, I don't know, but buy a big jar of it, and we just ate so much tomato macaroni soup mm. for like a week, it was just non-stop. Did and you guys do crackers with it, or toast, it, or grilled cheese? You'd always do like or? half, so you'd eat like, I, my way would be like, eat half of it normal, you know, with nothing just in it really, and maybe some pepper, and then halfway through, you'd jam a bunch of crackers in there, so it's like almost thick. Oh, with yeah. crackers sort of Pasty. deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Wallpaper the way to go. Wallpaperific. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I should learn how to make my own tomato macaroni, maybe. Just tomato soup and then throw in some macaroni. Cook your macaroni separate. Oh, okay, yeah. And okay. then, yeah, just throw your macaroni on first. Dump your cans of... Okay. I'm assuming you're just going to do it that way. That's the easy way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I bet I wonder. Yeah. I, I bet I could... I should contact the guy. I know the owner still. The, the white bull from way back. The cook, anyway. The chef, I should say. The tomato macaroni at um, the log cabin place in town was really oh, yeah. delicious. That too. was good. Yeah, that was pretty close. I would say close. equally for me as good as the white bowl. Yeah, that was close. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Do you guys have favorite soups? What's your favorite soups? Let us know. <laughs> favorite soup podcast. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Something comforting when the weather gets all cold and dreary and stuff. I, I, I like a chicken soup. I like. Uh, Italian wedding. Oh, man, the lobster bisque. Holy fucking changed my life. The Heretie Bar. They got some oh, yeah. kick-ass soups oh, yeah, in there. Good. Donna would come in and make soups. and Oh, her tomato fucking soup was amazing. And she made it from, oh, from scratch. No more GMOs, Donna. Yeah. God, that was so funny. Yeah, we were... We were... <laughs> We were doing a march against Monsanto, and there was like I don't know us, and then like is it Jenny, Jenny from the block yeah. and her two yeah. kids. Yeah. So there's like us two, and then another lady with her two little kids that are super fucking adorable. And there's something about kids coming to a protest that gives it credibility. Otherwise, Jason and I just look like a couple fucking radical. You know, we're out there with our signs like 
don't test on my body. And I'm like dressed in a fucking white hazmat suit. Scientist and, outfit. Yeah. Breaking bad outfit. Yeah. And, uh, and, <laughs> and they rolled up. That was so what she, she drove and by. And then our friend Donna that yeah, I worked with. drives by and I just scream out, no more GMOs, Donna. And I, I swear I didn't mean it to be like as like pointed at her. Kind no, of no, deal, no, like no, just no. Like, like almost, not like you're calling her out. Yeah. And, you're and just like, hey, tone... I know you. Like you recognized her and, and shouted out her name as she was driving by. <laughs> and then she turned around to yeah, find out what it was about. she came back she was like, what's this? <laughs> what, are you, what are you calling me out? Oh, that was so yeah, funny. She, I don't think she cooked the soup, so I think it was a different lady now, but uh, oh, she did like so the good. nails and stuff, and that's who we got our oh, little right. dog, Rocco, that we talked about oh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yay, Rocco. Yeah, he was a cool little... Angry teddy bear squirrel. <laughs> Anyways, quickie, quickie. Yeah, quickie. Let us know your favorite soups, and if right. like you guys are dealing with some snow and... Soup loops, or stew. Does that stew, does that count? Is it, no. Soups. We'll talk about our favorite snow activities and stews another time. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got to okay. keep it quick. All right. Quickie, quickie, quickie. I can't even say it. Let's quicky quicky quicker. Less quick. <laughs> Slowing down podcast. All right. <laughs> Love you all very much. Later. Good to see right. you. Have fun squeeze it in a quickie. Squeeze Stay it, safe. squeeze it. Squeeze you know, it. Touch your quickies. What? If you uh, don't crush your quickies. If you can't be good, have fun. You know, that's the way the quickie crumbles. There you go. That's the the gold ticket. Jason, I'm going to go get a trophy for Jason. Yay, trophy. Love you. Love you. Wrapping it up in a nice little bow. I really hope you liked all of our stories. We don't really have an outro yet. (laughs) We hope we didn't cause too many boreys. That's when you get bored and you're like, fuck. This and you space out and you look over there. You don't want to quit <laughs> listening because you love us and you're putting up with our shenanigans.